Hello, everybody, and a happy birthday, Stafford Knott Storytelling. Stafford Knott, over the seven years of being in existence, has taken us around the world and into other worlds. Now, what's my world today? Well, I'm in my lovely little wooden house that I built myself on top of a hill in London. But I'm in lockdown. We're in lockdown. The whole world is in lockdown. And I was thinking that stories take us to other places. And Anna and Anna, Anna Lyons and Anna Elena, through their work, they've taken us to many, many different worlds. Seven years of traveling the world, traveling to other worlds. And the last time I was at Stafford Knott telling stories, I was working with my colleague, Inigo Micheles Berrade, and most of my stories are based on my travels and we were presenting stories from South America and I just have I got a picture of Inigo Yes we were telling stories called the Pongo Stream from South America, all over South America. But in lockdown now, I thought I would like to share something from another part of the world and actually share, share some pictures and actually have the story coming from another place. And so I'd like to share this little story that I recorded. It's only a little story, but maybe it will take us into another world. ago I was very fortunate to be in Arabia. I saw some great things, stayed with some wonderful people in some very interesting places and I learned some great stories and I have a story here which I'd like to tell. But just to let you know the desert is very windy and there is sound of the wind in this story. Hello. This is a story from the deserts of Arabia. A lion, a fox and a wolf went hunting in the desert. And by the end of the day, they'd caught a deer, a hare and a pigeon. And as they sat down to rest, the lion said, Now, maybe it is time for us to divide the prey. Who will be who will take the honour of dividing the food? Oh, by Allah, what a great idea is that, said the wolf. And the wolf proceeded to pick up the pigeon, and he put it in front of the lion. He picked up the hare and put it in front of the fox, and the deer he claimed for himself. What sort? of division do you call this roared the lion and he struck the wolf across his face and the wolf wiped the blood as it poured down his face now maybe fox you will be more just in your division fox looked at the blood pouring down the face of the wolf and he paused and then he went over to the hare and he put it in front, right in front of the lion. Oh, this, my dear Lord, will be for your breakfast. And then he pointed to the deer and he said, And this, O oh great Lord, will be for your supper. And then he ran over, picked up the pigeon and put it right in front of the lion. And this, my dear Lord, will be in case you are hungry between meals. Oh, ho, ho. you have done well, oh little fox. 
wise. But tell me, who taught you to be so wise, so just in your division? Ah, the sight of the blood pouring down the face of the wolf was indeed a great lesson for me, oh dear master. So with that little story, I'd like to say once more, happy birthday, Stafford Nott. Happy seven years that have already existed, and may there be many, many more years to come for an absolutely wonderful storytelling club. Bye, everybody. And to Anna, I'd like to say in Portuguese, which is her language, obrigado. And to Anna, I'd like to say in her language, Romanian, multimesc. And to everybody who's contributed, thank you very much. Bye-bye.